Going trolls? What? Who's going trolls? Who is this? Rising Sun is going trolls, so we'll have to update the scoreboard. He is going for the chieftain. And on the other side, playing as the Dark Elves, this is Night Hunter. I'm not even gonna do this spin, will I? I guess I have to do the spin now. Ooh, you get one too. Well, let me update the scoreboard, guys. I don't know why he switched to trolls, but I guess for this particular map, he just wants to do that. Uh, it is a very, very good matchup for the trolls, to be honest. Anything that involves few bases it is just great against Dark Elves, to be honest. Um, and especially for trolls. To also benefit from a low sector count. It's even better. You're gonna meet in the middle here. There's no way the Dark Elves get to upgrade this. Uh, this guy just does siege damage. Which is abilities and a specter goes to the wrong side, so RNG is not on Night Hunter's side once again, even though he needs it so bad. Uh, he's not gonna get it. Uh, we gotta teleport out from the Garden of Nor, so he can't even protect the Dark Ensign. And yeah, it's just not gonna come up. That's, that's, that's gone. Only takes a few hits from here. Chieftain finished it. And we'll be able to teleport back here. Probably on this tree chopper. Oh, he's carrying on. Okay, I guess he can go after the workers and bully them. I mean, it's not like the trolls can keep upgrading several bases anyways. So why not? not taking this so I don't know that's a little strange oh my brain it's dying it, it, it's going away. Sorry. Uh, I was just completely phased out. I'm like, am I even here still? I am, I guess. Ooh, that last game took a, took something out of me. Anyways, troll plan. Um, so we got a double hunting hut, a quad tree chopper, and a double stonebreaker in the main base. And then we got this expo with a bit of a mix. So it's two... Three choppers, one hunting hut, and one stone breaker. This makes the eco nice and balanced. And uh, the trolls should be able to go after this dark ensign and kill it and then take it over. Uh, but the chieftain seems to be going home instead. Join the troll guard? Excuse me? Well, that's gonna give his boys some health. That is. So bizarre, you don't really get to see this much. Uh, okay. See what happens. Night Hunter is taking on the Medusa. Oh, while getting the base going. Huge smash right on the spiders. <laughs> Medusas are still kind of helping a rising sun here. So Night Hunter can't be too happy about this losing all these spiders. Uh, he'll need them to hold against the later smashers. They're growing in numbers and oh my god, the spiders are getting even more damage. 
it would be good for the chieftain to um, to keep attacking here uh, so that he can get more experience from this. If you choose level 4, that's a pretty good situation. You normally hold your points, but this in this case, I think he might spend some. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, that's probably enough for now. He's gonna have to get back. He's got two guards, so he's getting some health back, right? Is he also getting health from this? I think maybe, probably not. Anyway, these guys do. Oh, there's been a smasher up here and killed actually one woodcutter worker. Mass spiders. Is he doing it? Of course he's doing it. He's done it every game thus far. Uh, he's gonna smash this out to sound like it's nothing. Getting a Hall of Pain along with it. And... Oh! Oh! The Frontier Post finishes last second. Pull out! Pull out! The Smasher! Ah! 16 health! Gets away just in the nick of time. But who's Nick anyway? The last of the troll bases are upgrading. Uh, I guess there's one more left after this. Uh, small tribe shelter coming in. There's a, been a fight hut for a while in the main, safely tucked away. So what's what's next for troll kind? Rising sun on the other side, smashing up the Dusas. And this eye of the tribe is done so. Can afford some free choppers if he wants. We'll need that because uh, tribe shelters are gonna be important. Ah, the smasher is in the front. He weak right now. Going after the hunting hut. Yeah, the recycle is a good idea here. Uh, the base will hold anyway, so. Pretty sure the trolls can just kill a base faster here and teleport back. Uh, won't kill this unless Night Hunter is really out of. Oh shit, he's really out of food. What happened? <laughs> How many spiders did he kill? Too many, it seems. Smasher shouldn't run around there. He's not getting away from this anyway now, so might as well just kill some spiders. And yeah, the base gets right clicked. A smash or two will fall, but meanwhile the uh, the chieftain is working on these infiltrators and they don't like it. Frontier post is done. I think another smash will die. Has enough damage been done though? Probably. Uh, Rising Sun is still on like four bases. Three sectors plus the main. Triple fight hut is up. And he should probably upgrade the back one to be able to support that throwing camp is coming. Uh, which would allow him to to get some throwers. Very important addition. It's only spiders, man, and a few infiltrators. Uh... His town hall is... He, it's got eight idols. That's all the hunters. He's got a double hunt at the start after all. Understood. We will do as you say. Oh boy. Survivor taking an L. <laughs> Can 
you not have more than two members of the troll guard? Well, that's a level five on the chieftain. Let's see what he does with it. Uh, troll guard level two. So guard amount is now up to five. Oh yeah, the initial one was two. Okay. Today I learned. I don't cast this side much. Bond of the troll guard. Uh, gets more hex power back. So like the focus. Because he has to spend some focus on this. Right? No, not right. He has to use a uh, focus on, on these skills though. He uses up the whole thing. These as well. Anyways, we're not gonna have slab level two or throw junk level two. He'll probably uh, summon something uh, with the bottom three skills. One is for each of the tech tree areas. So he promotes a dude into a better dude. Basically right now he went for the hitting uh, part of the tech tree so he can turn a troll guard into a better unit like a skull crusher for free. He does lose the focus though and he'll only regain it in a fight. Throwers are coming out. Ah, a lot of throwers will come out in a moment. Small trap shelter is upgrading to a big trap shelter, and that's gonna use up a lot of stone, but it's probably worth it. We'll have to see. Uh, the back base is done as well, so trolls are really solid in terms of economy from here on out. He just really needs that population so that they can keep pumping units, because it's all his queues are idle right now. That's not ideal. Oh, hey, we've got a wall breaker. Night Hunter, meanwhile, still on level 3. He's too tired for this. Oh, no. In the end, he got the shield, needs to equip it though. Uh, on the other side, we've got the Hall of Pain getting taken down by this troll army. Dude, there's a wall breaker here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not targeting the frontier post that could be a huge issue. Wait. Wait. The AoE is hitting it. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fine. Tried to get the border fortress, but probably ain't happening. Uh, yeah, Arboyo is taken down. Got a skull crusher though out of it. But the trolls are not gonna stick around. Teleport out uh, to the far side and actually is going to use that foreign attack. He's making more and more smashers now. Dark elves are finally tier 2. The Dark Temple is up, but what's he gonna do with it? This is gonna go to be a fortified outpost. Which is gonna work out, but are the Dark Elves gonna be able to arrive in time? Where is Night Hunter exactly? Okay, he's teleported in. We got throw junk two and slam two, by the way, and also concentration two. Uh, the shielding amulet has not yet been equipped by Rising Sun. Uh, he hopefully will notice that at some point. We'll need a few more trap shelters as well. He's making them, two of them actually, so he's more than fine from here on out. Uh, hunting is going to be done, and he'll have to transition into farms before before it completely vanishes because he obviously wants to keep making units but he's not right now oh we're gonna see a lot of upgrades are these hitting camps hitting camp is being made so i think they're going to the throwing camp but he does have the stone for it so should be okay i wonder if he's gonna if he's gonna turn them into the flingers 
could be pretty good against Dark Elves, since the Dark Elves don't really have anything crazy just yet. Got a little bit of stuff everywhere, but not a lot of army overall, and only tier 1 units. As I say that, the Plague Beetle shows up to save the day. Just bugging around. Cool, so we got a ton of throwers. This might be a good chance to just take out the big guy. But no fighting against the big guy just yet. Um, looks like it's gonna be an item purchase, the whole army coming with in case of a teleport. That's more than enough throwers for bugs, that's for sure. Bugs go squish. Squish that bug. Ah? Uh, selling the... Why'd you sell your potions? If you're gonna buy them back. What? That must have been an accident. Okay. <laughs> that definitely was an accident. No problem. We'll sort it out. I wonder if we're gonna get hexing soon. That would be sick. Oh, the Warbreaker side attack is coming in, but they are going to cost a lot of resources, so uh, it's going to take a moment. There is a scrapper, but it's only the one. Uh, no other one being made right now. I. Don't know if there's a scrap location here. I think there's only one in the middle. Uh, just double checking. Yeah. Okay, both are being gathered from, so it won't take too, too long. Okay, he's gonna have like five of these. That's more than enough to take out the main. He's just posturing to bully this border fortress. Which might result in a teleport. If Night Hunter is not careful, he might get really surprised by this. Uh, he's got a lot of population right now, but it's mostly beetles. Ah, uh, sorry, it's not beetles. <laughs> he wishes it was beetles. It's mostly tarantulas. There's a basilisk for whatever reason. They're really slow and cumbersome and don't really help against trolls. I'm not sure about that. If you're super winning, then sure. Uh, go and kill bases. Take some of those with you, but... I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, well, there go the five wall breakers. This is gonna be really brutal. Was that a teleport? Well, they're going for it. Whatever the case, one of the bases will die. If it's the main, Rising Sun just wins. If it's the border fortress, he gets ahead. Either way is Gouda. I should have reserved that pun for a cheese game. Oh well. Too late now. Oh! We don't have time for this. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh my god. Night Hunter. <laughs> oh man, no! <laughs> oh, that's how he will lose the tournament. And he's gonna be out. This capital is collapsing on itself. Got a bunch of big smacks. That's gonna be it. Uh, didn't even notice. Man, that was brutal. Oh my god. Rising Sun has another chance. And he'll go into the elimination match next against Alex. that on tier one by the way 